So, say, your waters are broken, two o'clock in the morning, beautiful light pink. You've come in, I've assessed you and said, we're all good, you're four centimetres. And so Annalise is your doctor. And so, are you gonna come in? Oh look, if everything is normal, in the middle of the mm -hmm. night, not usually. So um, often the hospitals will have the ability to remotely monitor mm -hmm. a baby. Um, so at the hospital I work at we have that option and I can just log in and have a quick look and check that I'm happy with the baby as well. But otherwise yes. we have our, our fabulous midwives who are able to interpret what they're seeing on yes. the, the CTD trace and, and let us know. And if things are completely normal, um, we would expect it to take some time and we wait and let things happen. Um, if there are any concerns with the baby, if the baby's not coping or if the midwife is not sure about something, then we would absolutely mm. come in and assess the situation. But if it's all normal, we it's wait and normal. let things happen. And I guess it's realising everybody's role. So, you know, a midwife's role normally is in normal. We're very good at normal, we understand normal, we can assess abnormal, but we're not the um, managers of abnormal. That's why we have we work as a team. So if everything's going very well, even if you're a private patient, we're going to say to the doctor, this is what's happening. She's going to say, that's great. Let me know if anything changes. But you may not see that doctor for a few hours because they can check. We might communicate with them, but they'll generally come at the end and steal the glory. Come in <laughs> and, you know, safely transition that baby into the world. Um, so, and that would be, we'd say, oh, look, it's time to come in now. Yeah, so the, the midwife is very much there for supporting you through the labour. Mm. Um, they'll be able to make suggestions on things that you can try, different positions, um, you know, different things that you can do to try and help mm. um, move the baby into a better position. They're, they're great at all of those things and they'll stay with you through the whole time um, and, and give you lots of support and advice throughout the labour. Um, and then obviously we come in and we deliver the baby because, you know, we, that's we've what they looked like after doing. them for yes. nine months and yes. we want to be there. And that's, you know, <laughs> a part of your relationship. You've got to know the doctor throughout. And so that's, it's lovely to see at the end. But if you're in a, in a public hospital, um, in the public setting, a midwife is um, educated and trained to do the whole shebang if everything's nice and normal. So if all is very good, you might actually not see a doctor at all. You might have a midwife that does everything. Um, and so that doesn't mean that you're not being monitored or if anything changes that you wouldn't get that support, but it's knowing that, that a midwife is trained um, to do all of that, to deliver babies, and in a lot of cases to do suturing, put gel coats in, do newborn checks. So if everything is all very normal, that you might say have, have, a me, have me the whole time and think, oh, when's the doctor coming? <laughs> um, now the doctor in a public setting is there for the abnormal. Um, and it's generally a doctor that you have never met anyway. And so if I was worried, I would say, hey, Brenda in room three, um, I'm a little bit concerned about what? And then they would come in and offer some opinion and some treatment for that. Yeah. Because things have moved from normal to abnormal. Um, and so as the woman, you don't need to manage that. Your job is just to do what you're doing. Um, and that's why you have health professionals that sit around you to help to be able to to know how things are going. Absolutely. 